Hey guys, welcome back to Mama's Pantry. So I just wanted to touch bases with you on something that most people don't think about when they're beginning to prepare for food security. So another thing that you might not have thought about prepping in your food security in your depression era pantry is actual cornmeal or corn flour. Now I stock that because it's hearty and I love a good corn muffin or cornbread, okay? because it just reminds me of my pappy god bless and rest his soul in heaven a couple of you are going to wonder and you're going to say well doesn't the oil the oil in that make it rancid after a while well there's actually a study from the brigham young university in utah that says no that it won't spoil or go rancid when it is stored properly okay so let's answer some of your questions here okay are you ready cornmeal normal shelf life without being stored in an airtight container is one year at room temperature now you say take that same cornmeal and you stick it in an airtight container i.e a five gallon food grade bucket with a gamma lid and you know me you know that's coming right it'll last two years okay how do we make it last even longer will you stick one of those 2000 cc oxygen absorbers in it like this one and guess what your shelf life has now extended to a decade all right and then if you want to stick it in your freezer because i don't know how you have that much freezer space but congrats to you if you do it will last indefinitely what's the difference between cornmeal and corn flour well cornmeal is made from grinding dried corn either yellow or white thus the name <laughs> yellow or white cornmeal okay all right then you have that category and it's broken down to unbolted and bolted well the unbolted form of cornmeal is simply it still has the hole and the germ still with it so it's stone ground it's a coarser grind right and then your bolted kind of cornmeal is degerminated or you're removing the hole and the germ away from that corn, okay? And it's sieved and that's how they separate that. So it's just a finer ground, ground and you're taking the hole and the germ out of it. Corn flour then is that bolted corn meal that is then ground down into a finer powder. All right, so now you know what the difference is between cornmeal and corn flour, and you know that you might really want to store this in your pantry because now you've now learned that you can and you can do so safely and for a long time, and you like to have cornmeal or corn flour. How do you store it and bring it home and make sure that bugs don't get into it and that it's going to last for you? Well, the first step that I do is I bring it home and again, here we go. I put it in my freezer for three days because that kills off any bug larva that may be hiding in in that flour or cornmeal that I brought home from the store. So that way, when I'm storing it in my bucket, then those don't hatch, right, and contaminate my food because that's gross. However, we all know that there are some particles of bugs that get into our food because nothing's perfect, right? Okay, so I store those in my freezer for three days. I take them out, I allow them to come up and warm up to room temperature. And then they go into my bucket with the gamma lid, okay? It's not anything new. All of my flowers get stored this way. Okay, here you go. There that is. And here is that 2000 cc oxygen absorber. Now this will keep for me for a decade if I wanted it to. It's not gonna last that long because my kids really love these. And when I make muffins, I make a lot of them at a time because they eat the entire tray. Okay, I love, love them, they're good. But this is how I keep it. This is all really nice and really fresh here still, just like the day that I brought it home. And there's no bugs in it because we've taken the steps to make sure that there are. Okay. Now you're wondering, I don't know. I don't know if I could really use corn flour. I'm not from the South. <laughs> so now that you've stored all this wonderful cornmeal or corn flour, because they store the same way, what can you make out of it that you might not have thought of? Well, first off, all the things that you normally think of when you think of cornmeal or corn flour. So your corn muffins, your corn breads, your actual bread, um, your shortcakes, your hush puppies, your chest pies, if you haven't thought of that. Cornmeal can also be used as a topping for casserole. It can also be used as a stretcher for your casseroles, for your meatballs, your meat loaves. It can be used in salmon patties. It can be used to stretch hamburgers. It can also be used as a shake and bake again as a coating for porks 
for your chicken, your fish. It's a really good one that we don't normally think of. You can also make whiskey, because what is whiskey made out of corn, okay? It can be made out of corn. You can make dumplings. And like we already said, you can make desserts out of it. So if you haven't stocked it, why wouldn't you want to go get to stocking it and keep prepping your pantry. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. All right, goodbye.